Hey guys, Satan, welcome back to my channel. So today we are taking a trip to the West Coast, not literally, but with our mouths because today we are recreating In-N-Out's famous animal style French fries. I have heard from so many people they're absolutely delicious and I've seen them on Instagram a lot. So I figured I had to get in the kitchen and attempt to make them myself. Huge shout out to my friends in LA, Adam and Kyle, you know who you are, uh, for helping me get, giving me pointers on how to make the perfect In-N-Out French fries. So let's just get started. Over here I have a bowl of some rust the potatoes that I just peeled and now what we're gonna do is you want to cut them into some pretty thin french fries so we're gonna cut them pretty thin about an eighth to a fourth of an inch thick and there you go that is how you get them into the perfect french fry shapes and I'm just gonna repeat that step with the rest of our potatoes All right, there we go. That looks like enough French fries. Now over here on my stovetop, I have a large pot of water that has now come to a boil. And now to this, I'm gonna add a little secret ingredient of some white distilled vinegar straight into here, along with a generous pinch of salt. Always important to salt your water when making French fries because it'll incorporate some great flavor into there. And let's just give that a good mix up to fully combine. All right, there we go. Now I'm going to add in our uncooked French fries very carefully in there so that I do not burn myself. Maybe you know what? Maybe I'll actually put them onto the lid and slide them in like that, all right? That's a little trick. I've actually never done that, but I feel like that works really well because I definitely don't want to burn myself while I'm making these. Now, as you see, you're probably wondering like, why are we boiling these if I were making French fries that are usually fried? So I use a cool three-part cooking technique on my French fries to mimic the perfectly thin and crispy French fries that you get at a, um, at a restaurant. Okay, so these now have to cook for about 10 to 15 minutes until they are soft. And meanwhile, let's start preparing the other uh, condiments that are gonna go on top. So over here on my stovetop, I have a frying pan. And to this, I'm gonna add in a little bit of butter. And what we're gonna do now is we're gonna saute some onions. We're actually gonna caramelize them. We want them to really break down with all their sugars and get nice and caramelized. We're also gonna add a little bit of oil just so that the uh, butter doesn't burn. And let's add in, over here we have a chopped onion over here. And let's just mix that around. And I'm gonna put this on a medium to low flame so that we do, you don't wanna burn these. You really wanna cook them low and slow is the correct technique for making caramelized onions. All right, well now this starts cooking, let's start making the animal style sauce. So everyone I spoke to that's actually eaten at In-N-Out before said that this is the most iconic part that I have to nail. So to make the animal style sauce, we're gonna add in some mayo into here, along with some ketchup. Some chopped up pickles, apple cider vinegar, yellow mustard, a little bit of sugar. And now let's just mix this together until it's fully combined. Okay, so I've now taken out all of the par-cooked potatoes. I'm now gonna pop these in the freezer for about 15, 20 minutes until they cool down. And then we're gonna fry them for the first time, fry them for a second time, and then it is time to eat. All right, and now let's take them out of the oil. All right, that is it. Now I'm gonna repeat those steps with the rest of our potatoes. And we're going to fry these now a second time until they are nice and crispy and golden brown on the outside. All right, these are now golden brown and crispy. So let's remove them from the oil. Look at that, those look absolutely 
delicious. These look really crunchy, which is exactly what we want. All right, so now that these came out of the oil, I'm just gonna hit them with a little bit of salt and then repeat this steps with the rest of our potatoes. Okay, now one thing that's very important for these fries is one of the toppings is cheese and we want that to melt. So now right after these come out of the oil, we're going to place them into our serving dish and put the cheese on right away so that the residual heat from the oil will melt the cheese. Here we go. Now right over here, the first topping on these In-N-Out style animal fries is some melted cheese. So let's hope that the residual heat will fully melt these. Okay, so the cheese isn't actually melting, so we have this really cool heater, because it's freezing out here in the garage where we film these videos, so this is melting the cheese for it. Okay, so our cheese is now melted, and I'm going to add on top of that some of the animal style sauce that we made earlier, which has the ketchup, the mayo, the pickles, all those delicious flavors in there. Then finally, I'm going to top it off with these onions that have been caramelizing while we made the whole thing. They look delicious right now. So let's top those all over there. Okay, I need to just dig in right now. This looks like absolute comfort food, like fast food heaven. So let's get a French fry with some of that melted cheese on there. You know, I'm actually gonna dip it in some more of the animal style sauce because why not? And I have the caramelized onions on there and this just looks absolutely delicious. Okay, let's go in for a bite before I make a mess. Mm. Wow, these seriously live up to the hype. They're absolutely delicious. You have those super crunchy french fries that are topped with the gooey cheese, the super tangy, sweet, and sour sauce all topped off with the super sweet caramelized onions. It is absolutely delicious. I totally understand why everyone is obsessed with In-N-Out. Uh, I cannot wait to recreate some more things from that restaurant. If you wanna see me recreate something from your favorite restaurant, comment down below what you want me to recreate. Make a kosher and homemade version of it. And also, like this video if you haven't already, and be sure to click that big red subscribe button to be the first to know when I post new videos. Okay, if you need me, I'm gonna be devouring these french fries right now because they are actually insane. Thanks for watching.